Hello everyone. So welcome to today's video. And uh, those who are new to my channel, thank you for joining this uh, channel. And I will request you to like, share, and subscribe, and also hit the bell icon for getting notified for more uh, such videos on EDI integration, cloud, uh, and Sterling. Right. So with that, let's start today's video. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, what I gone uh, through in last uh, few days is I have went through most of the comments, questions that you had in the videos that I have posted. And what I've done is like I've tried to uh, respond to most of them uh, as much as possible in the same thread. Also, I have taken a note of the videos or the topics that you would like me to cover in my uh, next videos. So what I've done, I have actually collated all those uh, topics uh, other than the one that I've already covered. So I've responded like, please look into my older videos and you should be able to find a video or a bunch of videos around that same topic, right? But the ones that I thought, okay, might be relevant and might be interesting and I haven't uh, like, uh, discussed in detail about those areas is what I have listed over here. So these are some of the uh, upcoming videos that you would see in my channel. So stay tuned, right? Uh, the first one is, yeah, one of the most important uh, map uh, that actually is also a challenging one when you are developing any uh, X12 related mapping. I have seen uh, 850s, which are purchase orders, 810s, which are invoices, or in general, any other uh, mapping, right? Uh, and while it comes to 856, which is a dispatch advice or a shipment advice, it has different levels, right, within each other. And the complexity is more in an 856 map, right? And that is the reason probably one of the subscriber asked me, can you uh, please create a video on the different levels of 856 and, and touch upon that so that you gain the knowledge of uh, 856 map, right? So I'm gonna cover that in that uh, video. So stay tuned. The next one uh, was around, uh, can you please uh, show us if we get a inbound EDI flow that we have to develop? and we have to create the business processes, how to do that inbound uh, BP creation or, or workflow step by step. So I'm gonna do that as a uh, another video uh, in my upcoming videos. The third one that I would also cover is around database mapping. So what is database mapping? Database mapping is basically uh, you have an input and an output for any maps, right? Now, typically when you uh, send, uh, let's say an EDI document as an input, to the map, typically uh, the other side is either it creates a, a XML file or a CSV file, right, on an IDOC, typically those kind of like a different message file formats. But the database mapping is something which is very interesting where uh, it can be that the input side, right, uh, is uh, information or data that you're getting from different tables, right, uh, on the database. And then you're mapping it to an output, which can be an XML file, right? Or any other file formats. Vice versa, there might be another scenario where the input is probably an XML document or an XML document, and you're actually inserting it into the database in the specific tables as records, right? Typically, we have seen most of the time when you talk about database mapping, I've seen 95% is the second option, which is an input, which is a different file format, but you're inserting the data in the database. So that is called database mapping. So we are gonna cover that in one of the video. The fourth one that I'm gonna cover is the XML mapping. How to uh, do XML mapping, right? How to create a, an XML structure if you don't have the DTD or the data definition file, right? If you have to create it manually and all that. So we're gonna do all that in the XML mapping. The fifth topic that I thought would be really interesting is how to set up an SFTP protocol or a communication channel. What is public key? What are private keys, right? And all those fun stuff within the SFTP protocol. So I'm gonna do the video for that as well. Last but not the least is one of the most critical protocol, which is AS2, right? So applicability statement two, how do you set up an AS2 
profile. How do you create the relationship between the uh, organization and the members, right? And all that fun stuff. So creating an AS to set up, also talking about the MDN, so the message delivery notification, how to set up, right? How to select file system or mailboxes, storage locations, and all that fun stuff. So we'll go on to do that AS to set up uh, with the basic understanding of the protocol itself. So stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel, as I mentioned. With that, let's talk about today's topic. So today's topic is around another request that came in from in one of the video where uh, someone mentioned that uh, he or she is actually preparing for some kind of connect direct project. Uh, so he or she wants to know, uh, can you share some of the insight of where I can, uh, which like material I, uh, they can follow to learn more about Sterling Connect Direct and then appear for that exam or maybe like uh, getting ready for the project. So uh, with that, like uh, I have actually like, take a couple of resources for today's video to share with all of you. The first one typically uh, in general is the IBM official documentation site. I have always uh, told whenever you're looking for any Sterling related document, be it a um, connect added, be it file gateway, be it Sterling B2B integrator, anything is publicly available. So feel free to go in Google and search for that specific product name and a documentation followed by that. And you should be able to go to the first link. I have actually, uh, you provided this link in the description box for you to like quickly go and look into document. This is the IBM Sterling Connect Direct official documentation within that if you, Look over here, there are different uh, versions of Sterling Connect Direct, like Connect Direct for Unix, Connect Direct for Windows, Connect Direct for GOS. So you can go into individual uh, documentation that you are actually looking for, or you can look for the common guides, the file agent, interconnect options, and all that. So this is the official documentation that would help you to prepare for the project that you're looking for working in Connect Direct. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions on Connect those people who are new or like listening to this topic of connected for the first time let me tell you connect direct is a separate product not a uh, sterling integrator but just a disclaimer sterling integrator can also act as a connect direct node now Connect Direct is uh, the most the most secure protocol right now in this world Connect Direct actually operates on a uh, node to node communication. So you have a P node, you have a S node, right? Primary node and S node. It really de like, uh, uh, depends uh, which node is initiating the communication based on that. Uh, that node which is initiating the connection is called the P node. The a destination to which that connected node is initiating the communication to is called the S node and can be vice versa. Mostly connected uh, uh, product uh, is actually, and the protocol is actually widely used in financial services like banks, right? Where ba one bank is communicating with another bank. Why it is most secure? Because it has this protocol, this connected protocol has never been breached so far, right? It's very robust. It uh, and then like there are a lot of uh, uh, like details around the connect direct protocol, how to set up like copy job, how to set up uh, uh, mm -hmm. different kind of like sub task within that. And typically the good thing about connect direct is you're actually able to transfer very big size files. Like a bank is sending a very big size file to another bank, right? It uses a mechanism where let's say the communication uh, for some reason got uh, halted or like uh, interrupted it actually resumes back from the place okay let's say you are trying to send a five terabyte of file and then at maybe two terabyte the uh, file transfer got uh, interrupted for some reason network related or any other reason when the network is restored when the communication protocol is again re-established the file transfer starts from that 
two terabyte mark rather than starting from the beginning. So there are a lot of like, this is just one example of the advantage of it. But the other thing is the security part of it. It's very secure and we can talk about like maybe a, have a separate videos around connected. If anyone is interested, do uh, let me know through the comment section and I'm going to maybe a create or maybe show you right connect direct uh, setup because it's not uh, that robust uh, software which needs a lot of infrastructure and very difficult to install in the laptop. I can certainly do that in my laptop and show you. So let me know. Uh, the other uh, interesting uh, resource that I want to highlight is if you go to YouTube, I've given this link in the description also for you to quickly uh, uh, navigate to this, but this is uh, IBM Tech Exchange community uh, where they have created 58 videos, 58 videos. If you see over here, the playlist, the entire playlist I've given it in the description box has all the different parts right of the connector uh, how to uh, create uh, configure certificates and all that so this is one of the other very good resources where you can see hands on of how to do all that within connect data i hope these two video if the, the the video and the documentation if you uh, uh, are able to uh, learn all of that right at least you are in a good shape to start working on any sterling connect direct project or like looking for a job change where they need a person who has expertise in connect direct right uh let me know uh, through comments if you have any further questions but if not then uh this is all for today's video i'm gonna see you next uh, in my next video stay tuned and those folks who are new to this video please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for uh, more such videos with that take care and have a nice day